Okay friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the difference between incomplete dominance and co-dominance. So in a quick way, let's look at them. Both of these idea are not belonging to the Mendelian inheritance, where Gregor Mendel told us about some ideas that gene and their functionality will not blend, they will segregate independently and no, none of them influence any other. So if you take two separate genes for two different functionality, they will not blend with each other and stuff. But in this case of both the type of incomplete dominance and co-dominance, we will see there are multiple two different alleles and vectors of the genes, two versions of the genes, they involve with each other and develop something different in the F1 generations. So if you look at here, in incomplete dominance means, here we have one gene for specific characteristics and two different alleles are there for that same gene, one dominant, one recessive. Now in case of incomplete dominance, the dominant allele is failed to provide its effect to the next generations. Okay. So let me give you an example of incomplete dominance very fast. For example, here we are talking about one trait and the trait we are talking about is the color of the flower, okay? flower color and the gene responsible, let us say uh, there are two versions of the gene dominant and recessive. Okay. The dominant gene, uh, the dominant allele of that flower color gene is R, the recessive one W. Okay. Let us say this is the idea. Now the dominant form of the gene R codes for the color red, while the recessive form that is W codes for color white. Okay. So, according to Gregor Mendel, what happens in a monohybrid cross like that, if you take only one trait for that cross, we know that dominant allele always shows its effect and it will suppress the effect of recessive allele, right? It is always true according to the Mendelian pattern of inheritance. So, if we take this plant, if we take the plant, if we take a red plant and cross it with a white plant, according to Mendel, all the offspring in the F1 generation will be red, right? But if we look at here, what is the difference? We will see. Here we have, let us say, R W, see, R and W is crossed, okay? It is a monohybrid cross. So, what we get after this cross, R R, R W, R W, W W. So, after the monohybrid cross, we get this as a result. Okay? This is one offspring, this is another two parent and these are the offspring we get in the F1 generation. Now, according to Mendel, in the uh, laws of Mendel, when we talked about, you know, Mendel took like those uh, pure breeding plants and crossed them. In the F1 generation, all of them contains a dominant trait. Right? Now, when they take the offspring of F1 and cross it again, self crossed it again, then they find differences. But here, even if this is a dominant, this is a recessive, see, according to the Mendel inheritance, all of them should be red. But in this case, you see this is a red, this is white because homozygous for that. And we have two of them, RW and RW. Now, according to the Mendel inheritance, as dominant allele R is present, it should express its characteristic, which is red color. right? So, these two offspring should get red coloration in their flower. But here we see the color is pink, neither red nor white. It is a blend like feature between red and white, so we get a pink coloration. Now to explain this phenomena, we can only tell is that according to Mendel, we should have a red color, but this R allele, which is a dominant allele, failed to be properly expressed. It is not completely expressed in the F1 generation. We call it incomplete dominance because the dominant factor is not completely expressed. Okay? That is the incomplete dominance. Okay? So the ratio of the phenotype in the F1 generation is 1 is to 2 is to 1 of a red flower 1 is to 2 
pink flower is to 1. So, here you see a complete new variety of phenotype is originated, right? The third new phenotype, pink, which we haven't seen in the parental generations, is now originated. This is one event. On the other hand, if you talk about the codominance, the genetics between the codominance, like the idea of Punnett square and stuff, is very same. It's almost the same. But there's a slight difference. Again, let's say the same thing. The same thing you take. Uh, the dominant R and the recessive W, R for the red, W for the white, coding the flower color. Now, if we do the same thing, R, so let's take R, W, and let's take R, W. So, after the Panetska, we will get R, 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 W, R, W, W, W. Okay, same Punnett square results we are getting, but now look at the phenotype. This is red, this is white, but these two which are heterozygous in nature R W, they are we have a white flower with red dot. So, what does that mean? So, this is the third phenotype we get, completely new phenotype. Parents are either red or white in the flower, but here we get a flower, white flower where red spots are there in the flower. So, here we see the effect of red gene which is capital R and white gene both which is capital W, both are shown in the F1 generation. So, the effect are present for both the alleles. So, that is why we call it as a co-dominance. Co means the presence of both of those alleles together. Okay? So, co-dominance because both those alleles are acting as a dominant factor, they show up in the next generation. Okay? And the ratio if we get, it will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 again, 1 for red, 1 for white and the 2 are for the white with red spot. So, the difference now between the co-dominance and the incomplete dominance is in both the case they produce a different phenotype that is true the comparison if we talk about in both this case they produce a third phenotype. But in incomplete dominance the dominant allele is not fully expressed there is a problem with the expressivity of the dominant allele while in co-dominance both the alleles are expressed as a dominant factor. So, both of them maintains their characteristic in it white and red, but here none of them can maintain their characteristics a completely different kind of fused and kind of a blended character result which is pink. Okay? So, that is the major difference between uh, the incomplete dominance and co-dominance. Okay? So, I, I hope you understand this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and share this video with your friends. Thank you.